Okay, guys, now let's talk about our experience in high school. <laughs> so, Maya, you want to go first? Mm. <laughs> I had a really eventful experience in high school. I would say, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Definitely had some ups and downs. Okay, but like I think that I just had like a really big growth and learning experience. I learned like who I was as a person. This like four years definitely contributed heavily to me finding out what I liked, um, my passions, what I don't like, what I'm passionate about not liking. I made some of the closest friends I'll ever have. Um, you know, lots of homework. <laughs> so, you know, it was okay. It was good. I, I wouldn't take it back, you know. <laughs> So yeah. Okay, zero out of ten. How do you rate it? Uh, it's really more than a numerical <laughs> value. I agree. Okay. It's really. I agree. It's like zero out of ten on what level? Oh, on what true. True. She's being intellectual. Yeah. She yeah. learned hey, this. That's on me. That's she on me. learned She's this. Studious. She's there's studious. There's studious. <laughs> founding factors. Oh, oh. oh. So. what is studious? Oh. 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 Miss Helen Boyd. <laughs> so, how was your experience? Um. High school was hard. It was hard and it was long, but at the same time, it was so short. Like, we were talking about this this morning. Like, it was, it went by so quick. Like, we all thought freshman year, we were gonna be like in here for so long. Mm -hmm. And now we got a month until graduation and it's just really freaky. Yeah. It's really freaky. I agree. No. Zero to Freak, 10. Freaky. <laughs> How are you going to uh, ask me that question when you just said? Well, hey, oh, hey, what? hey, you Many might have people a different have... take than me. Intellectual Maya today. Okay, Mateus, <laughs> how do you feel? Man, I love high school, man. High school is a movie, you know what I'm oh, saying? Lord. What oh. high school did you do? No, no. it was not a movie. Uh, I don't think I peaked. Hopefully, I didn't peak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I liked high school. I took a lot of, I, a lot of naps in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I was just... You know, after after COVID, everything everything just changed. You know, you know, you know. You know. I do know. You know. I do know. I think his favorite word is you know. Words. I don't know. Words. Kim Fog. I love the people I met. I met like so much like different types of people. So many. Or so many types of people. I'm I'm glad I got to know all types types of person all types of personalities. I feel like Kim Fog compared to like others. I'm I'm kind of glad. I just got to know so many. You know? <laughs> yeah. So much diversity. What he said. What he what said. said. What, I said. Yeah. Yeah. what he said. For sure. So now, how was your experience? My my <laughs> experience, it was good, you know. You know, it went by so fast. Like, I was just a freshman at Lipscomb, you know. Uh, wishing that I was somewhere else, like Hume Fogg. And now look at me. I met Hume Fogg. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she got it. Everybody Man, I lived my it. dream. My like, freshman dream. dream. You got a, you got a homecoming now. court? So did you. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. We didn't. Aww. Uh, four of us did not. They're like, aww. Whatever. Womp. Yeah, whatever. Womp. That's why you didn't win prom. So, yeah. Okay, so Dana, how was your high school <laughs> experience? Well, I definitely have to say that at the beginning of the year, for freshman year, it was hard because everybody was coming from Megs, and mm. I came from an outside school that wasn't connected Ooh, to Megs. Same. So, like seeing everybody know each other, I was like, I was like, yeah, literally, I was still like confused. It was really hard making friends at first. Oh, but no, then not this one. Uh, interruptions. <laughs> I'm just so kidding. sorry We're just for that. Megs. But I got to, like Matea said, I got to meet a lot of diverse people. Um, mostly, like, you see people at this table, there's just so many personalities. What about you, Presley? Um, high school was okay. I also didn't come <laughs> from Megs. So, um, coming in freshman year, um, I was like, whoever I met were just my friends. Because COVID immediately came. And then it was virtual. And then everyone came back and they're like, OMG, I remember you from middle school. And I was like, I don't know any of your names still. Yeah. And um, I hate to say this, but there are still kids in my class that um, I'm seeing for the first time. And I'm like, what? It's so weird. No, I feel so, so, so bad about it. You can't tell me that they're in my grade. I feel so like, bad You told me that you're lying. Yeah. I feel like a lot of these people either like, like this one. They just I don't, do that. I don't know how like, transferred where. here or something because I don't remember half of the faces. No food. Yeah. yeah. When I like, walk into like econ, like, who is now, Gretchen like, Walker? Who are all these people? <laughs> who is Gretchen Walker? Yeah. Who is who Gretchen, Gretchen Walker? Walker? Who is Gretchen Walker? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? That's crazy. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. You know what's an unanswered question? 
Who was Effie and who was Amir? <gasps> I'll never know which one is which. Who is who? It's Effie. I don't know them that much. They're like Effie slash Amir. Effie slash Amir. Effie slash Amir. Yeah. What if we're like? That's Effie. What if it's in? What's? What if it's in our minds? That's Effie. What if we're like imagining that there's two of them and there's only one of them? I would be surprised by that. And we're like all like schizophrenic. I said one of their names and they both turned around. Our school experience was people are they always both turn around. Schizophrenia. We learned that. PSA. True. People are True. not schizophrenic. They have schizophrenia. And I think that it's going to be, from? I think that's, that's really going to be cool, it dude. for our high school talk. But you know what we have next? Something very special. We have, we have a very special, very amazing, very amazing, the wonderful Miss Murray. Woo! We're going to bring her in and ask her some Murray. little Questions okay. about her so own high school experience. I think experience. we all need oh, no. to shift down a seat. Okay. Yes. Or, oh, yeah, pull yeah. up oh, a chair, Miss Murphy. Yes. This is Miss Murray, Murray, also known as Miss Murphy. She also AP known lit. as Miss Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> y'all should, you know, y'all should apply to be an AP Ms. lit. How did it feel being able to be part of journalism this year again? Oh, okay. Um, I feel like <sighs> journalism this year has been another journey as far as like kind of understanding what student needs there are because last year when we were restarting journalism it had not been around for a long time and it, there was a pandemic between those two classes and um i think what i've learned as a teacher is that every year journalism is going to have a different voice it's going to have a different tone and how to create structure so that we can be accommodating and also not to expect kids to be the same every year yeah. and in a good way like that's not like oh like last year is better or this year is better it's just that everyone has a different voice or a different mm -hmm. uh dream for how they want things to be done so uh like a small example is that uh, we changed printers because there were different expectations about what we wanted the printing to look like and that's like a small example but just learning how to make room for new ideas i think is the biggest thing i've learned with journalism also it's just very much, I think, more of a part of the school, I guess, like as a culture than it was when we first started. Yeah. So there's more expectations, people are looking at it more, and that kind of thing. So. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> uh, what do you think you want to do differently next year in journalism? Well, next year we're going to have less students. Um, and this is more of just for my sanity. It's not like <laughs> a base on anything with any of the classes. It's just it's hard to do so many different things with so many different students. Um, and I, the hard part about that is it just makes it a little bit harder to get into journalism and mm -hmm. makes the applications a little bit more important. Um, but that's just so that we can make sure people are kind of doing what they love doing. And also so that people, I feel like one of the, um, I think we could all say that one of the harder parts about journalism is that people don't necessarily know what other teams are doing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And so with a smaller group, it'll be easier for there to be more like class cohesion. That makes difference. sense. There's also a lot of very like strong personalities in this class. Everyone is like leader material, but there's only a certain amount of leader spots open. So I feel like it'll be easier. You know, you have some people that are very dedicated to like the work aspect, and some people are really dedicated to like the production and the leadership part when it's smaller. Yeah. So, but I journalism has been amazing. It's been super fun. So I love the class. Yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely an undertaking, but it just feels like it's something that has to be here. Mm -hmm. They can't can't go. Uh, we can't go without journalism on our schedule. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you look for in the students that are wanting to do journalism next year? Like, what do you look for in a student? Uh, I think. I mean, maybe I'll regret saying this, but <laughs> personality. Um, oh, you'll definitely regret. That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but also, just you know, um, initiative. That's a big yes. thing. Um, because, you know, my experience with journalism personally has been a lot of being thrown into, like, the ocean of journalism and just having to figure it out. And unfortunately, I do that a lot as a teacher. Um, so I think that, you know. I want students to come in and not do what I want them to do. I want them to do what they have been dreaming of doing when it comes to like publications and like production. So that's what I really care about when it comes to journalism. Yeah. One final question, since we are all seniors, 
How do you feel about us leaving? Um, oh, well, I'm like not okay about it. <laughs> I think it's very selfish. Oh. Of us leaving? Yeah. Of us leaving? Yeah, Why? Sorry, then fail me so I can Yeah, literally, when y'all were walking through the hallways yesterday with your senior walk, also selfish, <laughs> and I had to watch all of you leave me uh, personally. Um, I um, I saw a tear building up in your Yeah, room. exactly. My advisory. Okay, <laughs> anyways. And I just was saying, I was like, there I am, just a memory of their past. Aww. They're going to leave me. Sure. But I think all that is aside, tears aside, I am very proud of you guys. Aww. So. Okay. Why you love you. <laughs> I've seen so many of y'all actually like kind of grow into like adulthood, especially the kids I've known for a couple of years. Like, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough graduation, I think. True, so, especially because yeah. I'm your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. All right, do so. You, do you think you'll ever uh, find, uh, have another kid like Albert? Oh my goodness. Ooh, I don't know, it'll yeah, be hard to play Oh, really speak of Albert. Albert, you wanna come in the, uh, come in the, uh, in the shot? Albert. 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 Ms. Murray, can you, can, you talk about, can you talk about Albert a little bit? You, yeah, well, you can make fun of him. Don't worry. I mean, even just like setting this up in the classroom, I was like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do without Albert? I will, I will admit, I'm sorry, I was a little intense. No, 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 Albert's okay. Um, but <laughs> oh, no. here's the thing: you have to be intense when you do the level of things that you yeah. do. So, um, a lot of stuff that you get done, that people who like people get paid to do what you do at our school. I know. So, I mean, I think the biggest thing, and I think this goes with everyone when it comes to creative, actually, here, okay, here's a real thing. When it comes to creative energy, it is still energy. A lot of times people will use that from you. Like, for example, if you're good at art, they'll be like, hey, can you sketch this real quick for me? And you're like, this is still something that I'm making that's taking effort. And just always remember, like, that's really valuable, you know, and don't let people just, like, take advantage of that. I hope that Albert goes off to college and he can like, you know, continue to do all the things he's doing, but also like do his own thing, you know, do some side projects, do things just for himself, oh. create like a, <laughs> you know, that's what that's what I want for you. So. Huh? Your hair ever turned gray? Oh, I think you said you it's gonna. Uh, well, it's gonna so soon. Well, that was a redhead Real soon. It's turn strawberry. Oh. I'm very proud of you, Albert. If you get, if you get past oh my god, of the hot hair. Yeah, it's great. It's Put it back on. Um, it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we love Albert. <laughs> so me. I hope. I hope um, you don't caught that. So before we go off to senior surveys here, um, I will say. Like with red hair, it's like. Um, <laughs> okay, Jimmy. I didn't Jimmy. know that, that was going that way. Yeah, I didn't I, I know. know that way either. Um, but uh, it, but it, yeah, it's like it, it's one of the last like to turn up. gray. So you and I will not have gray hair for a while. <laughs> yeah, you know this is. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Um, well, I think him we're and Sana. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's do one more Sanaa. time. Sanaa. Let's do. Uh, yes, let's get to work. That was oh Maggie! <laughs> it's always you! <laughs> the way she was like looking at the camera, oh and then she was like. <laughs> and we just like have the camera just.